So, we're gonna try double take app today. So, Tucker wants us to throw a stick. So, let's see if we can pick it up. Throw the motherfucker. See if this thing will do what I want it to do. So something's dead over here because the vultures are flying around doing something. So I'm not sure what's up with that. This needs to get extended like this if you're gonna do this. Okay. Yep. So this app acts a little bit different in that uh, it's not gonna do any tracking. So when you use the DGI D G D J, D J, D J. Why do I always want to say D G? D J I app, the menu, Nemo app. It'll track um, if you automatically put it on your selfie cam. It will auto track your face. If you flip it around to the front facing camera and pull the trigger, it will track what it thinks you have in frame. You can also click your finger on the screen and it will uh, allow you to draw a square around your object. It's, uh, I'm assuming it's all the same tech that's in the camera that's on the drum. So I don't think I can zoom in in the double take app. Yeah, this is talk and see today. Talk and see. And I realize the sun is behind me. You can't see my face. I'm mostly just playing with the app. And let's not die right here. We're going to one of my foot rocks. And we sit and put our right foot on the rock and notice what's around us. Right now I have two of these rocks that I put my foot on. There's a couple other rocks that I go around and there's a couple of rocks I constantly step on. There's been twice that if I forget to step on the rock, I'll go back and make sure that I step on the rock. It's a rock. somebody learning the silence. What do you want? You want me to pick up that stick? I'm going to pick it up and you're going to fight me for it. All right.
These are rocks that go between. These rocks I step on, I always go left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Pretty spoiled. Quiet. You always want to talk. Yeah, I'm not playing that game today. So, we arranged in the house a little bit today. Oh, hold on to the stick there. In the summer, the office area is too hot. And in the winter, the office area is too cold. Coffee burp. I have these fancy radiator, oil-filled radiator heaters that you can program. I have one in the bedroom, one in the office. And I'll set that to turn on at six and warm up the office and it does a really great job. And then I'll just decide that I don't want to go in there. But it's warm. The desk is cold. Everything's cold. So I'm spending money heating up the room not even really using up the heat that I'm spending. And I'm using electric, which is expensive here in California. Driving up the electric bill, for which I split with Saint, which is not exactly fair. I don't know what's gonna happen when we both buy electric cars this year. I'm either gonna get the Tesla car, the Y, which is like the SUV one for those that don't know, or I'm gonna get the motorcycles. Lots of places to ride up here. Or I'm gonna get the Ford F-150. I've actually got a deposit down on the Ford F-150. Rumors are saying that there's gonna be a bunch of drama with that, where they're gonna to try to ask us for more money when we get to the time of actually signing the paperwork <sighs> for which I will say fuck you dealer and that will help me get the Tesla poop it's breakfast for you protein veggie oh micronutrient she says micronutrient I think she's hurt me. So Banner's down in the grass area. So we'll see. Dealers like to play games. I don't like to play games. Life's a game. I'd like to score well. In a few days, me and three other people have a birthday. I'll be starting my two-year festivities of my 50th birthday, which means I'll be 48. And I'll be starting to celebrate my 50th. I always make the joke that because my birthday is on January 5th, 
I start celebrating my birthday on Halloween night and stop celebrating on uh, Valentine's Day. Just makes it easy so that anytime there's a get together with alcohol, I can claim it a birthday party. And that's always fun. Especially if you need a free meal. You can't do it more than once at the same restaurant in the same season. Though. They catch on. So two years to 50. Everybody, you know, when you're a little kid, you uh, you look up at certain adults, not your parents, not my, not my parents. Love you, mom. You look up at certain adults and you say, wow, that's an adult. They have their shit together. Pretty fucking scary because now I'm an adult and uh, everyone I know is still kids. They're like, even myself, 12 year olds with credit cards at a birthday party going crazy. Now we use our credit cards to buy food and pay the electric bill, especially if you live here. Mm, I think we found what's dead. Looks like a rabbit. I think they got a rabbit. The crows are trying to help. Of course, they're always trying to help. Let's see if we can see what it is. It's probably road kill. Yeah, you know what? It's road kill. Whatever it was, it was hit in the road. Sorry, I'm not paying attention. Come here, you two. It was hit in the road and um, rolled off the hill and died. Oh, that was interesting. So yeah, 12 year olds with credit cards at birthday parties. this time I was like eight or nine years old and I was noticing my grandma sitting at the dining room table with a bunch of papers and I'm like what are you doing grandma I'm paying the bills I sit down once a month remember when we bought you those shoes we didn't pay for it when we were in the store but this slip says I own money we didn't have a credit card well that's not true my grandpa had an American Express card and Every once in a while, he'd pull it out and pay for dinner. But when we'd go into town, we lived in a small town called Winlock, very small town. And uh, you'd go into town to go check the mail at the post office box, much like we do here in Springville. And uh, you could go to the drugstore. You could go to the clothing store. Pretty much everywhere in town you could go, they'd write you a charge slip. And they'd mail you an invoice at the end of the month. And you'd pay the bill. When I first moved to Porterville 18 years ago, as a business, you could run charge slips at the hardware store. Now... As soon as Home Depot moved in, Porterville Hardware closed down, Porterville Lumber closed down, all those places where the service guys could go and run a charge, go fix Mildred's whatever, get paid from Mildred, and then go pay our charge. Home Depot comes in and says, we'll use our pro credit card.
one of the things people forget is that takes the tax base right out of this local community. Now that tax base for that credit and that interest rate, it's going to Home Depot corporate somewhere, wherever that is. If it's Walmart, it's in Arkansas. It's Home Depot, I think it's in Arkansas. Same place, same thing. When you buy shoes on Amazon or toilet paper on Amazon, that sales tax that would normally go to the local Walmart and go to the local town sometimes doesn't get collected. You really need to get to a point where a lot of people will not like that I'm saying this, that if I'm ordering toilet paper on Amazon and I live in Springville, there should be a local Springville tax collected for that delivery. That will help pay for the road that normally would have been collected if I would have bought toilet paper in the town of Springville. In some metros, you pay a delivery fee. So, banner come. Where my friend, 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 Debbie lives in Pomona, they pay a delivery fee. Where my friend Richard lives, they pay a delivery fee. It's on their UPS tag to get passed right on to the customer. It's a tax we always pay and it's a tax we should pay. When things are local, the eyes are local, the feelings are local, the emotions are local. Hey, leave that. Come. Well, that was the double take app. Got the selfie stick, gyro OM2 with the stick fully extended. Finishing day two, go to your house, go, 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 go. I'm going to say hi to pig. Hi pig. Did you find the cheese I gave you? Yeah. I know cheese probably gives you gas. That's pig. Come on, you two. Come. Come, let's go. No squirrels right now. All right, signing off.